Hello and welcome back to Pillars. We are just about to head out and sail somewhere. Nice. We could use a vacation, but that's probably not gonna be on the horizon. We gotta go toward Dunwich just to return uh, some bounties. And uh, while we are at it, we might just uh, meet up with this unaffiliated merchant uh, sloop and take him out. Close the board. Continue sailing up, onward. Now, thing is, I actually installed the mode <clears throat> because I was getting a little bit annoyed that you actually have three options: either retreat, uh, enter combat, and go for the mini game, or close the board, where you actually end up taking a lot of damage, a lot of casualties, a lot of everything. But which is completely unrealistic because if you do the same thing, the exact same thing in enter combat mode with the minigame then you sail toward the ship many times you don't even get hit once sometimes you get hit once and you take some whole damage perhaps but that's it that's always 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 better than close the board which is just puts you in a puts you in a, a fight right away so that's what we're gonna go with <clears throat> if it doesn't work out, we just feel like, oh, maybe it doesn't make as much sense. Of course, I'm gonna remove it. Uh, but I think at this point, it is just uh, the way to go. Because else, I just have to go into enter combat mode and just press 1 uh, until we hit them. And many times, uh, they don't even hit me. Like, most of the time, they don't even hit me. And even if they hit me, it's just, it just truly doesn't matter. So, this is just a preference on my part. <laughs> Guys, what the hell is going up? Okay. Uh, how are you targeting that? That's actually pretty good. Maybe get Seraphine involved in that as well. Just terrify them. Oh, they're terrified. And they're all dead now. Hey, a lot. Thanks for showing up. So, we gotta take all and continue. I've actually got some uh, repair and medical supplies. Uh, like this. <clears throat> I think it's really nice that we have some uh, minigame. And I actually enjoyed minigames and other games before. Uh, but uh, I just don't really care for this one. So. Feels a bit repetitive. Um, many times the great things about minigames. Well. That they are optional, first of all. And second of all. Is that uh, they are like unique. So you do it once and that was it. And if uh, you actually have to like do a mini game like uh, like over and over again, like um, even like opening the door in like the do sex something like that, I, I just don't, don't particularly care for it. I tend to go for the well, let's just skip that or like uh, lock picking and um, Skyrim something like that. I think it's just a preference. <clears throat> I would rather like go for a, like a check than uh, than do the mini game if I don't like the mini game. Anyway, back to the game. What this island? What? On a dare the Tempress? Uh, seems like a bounty mission to me. Should I just hit them? Are they in range to be saying? shot at? They're not exactly. You were saying. We're getting close though. Hey, watch out. For the wrong and new. Alright. Uh oh. Hold your ground. Still got it. See you, man. So these are probably 
immune to mind afflictions. Apparently, well, at least one of them is. But most of them are not. Can I really terrify them? Uh oh. You're getting uh, washed away. Let's try to terrify them if it actually works. They're terrified. That's amazing. Not sure how I feel about the tentacles. Well, now they're the tempers. Let's go. That's a good way to draw some fire. Using the tentacles. That's it. They're all dead. What is this? Exceptional light armor. Chance to resist slash damage attacks. That's not that Problem. impressive, actually. You must gather Pretty your party much garbage. What? What do you mean I must get in my party? We have everyone uh, right here. And we also have the mission uh, from the map guy in the Kataka about exploring the islands. Wow. What is that? Bite of Nagati? That these this is part of the Juana. And the Juana like me, right? <laughs> oh I can't disappoint the Juana. I wanna loot you guys. Alright, I'm not gonna attack them. I can't help but feel but Maybe, maybe some of you consider this uh, more of a, a bad boy run already, but I might want to go for a more of a bad boy run. Maybe kill everybody. Not really everybody, but just like, kill more people. But not necessarily aligned with the pirates or whatever, because I just like, hey, if you're a bit of a bad boy, like... Hey, why why do you respect the pirates so much? Wouldn't you wanna steal from them? Kill them and take their stuff? Do you only go against uh, go up against easy targets? Easy marks? That's a lot of guys. Oh, wow! We got Archimere. Oh, they have a lot of ranged guys. Need a gout freezing pillar. Rest in peace, guys. Damn. That hurts. Uh, the gold pack knight is the tankiest of them all. Anyone else? Nope, that's it. They sure had a lot of spare flags. Yeah, but nothing really good. I just I don't even attack the aliens anymore. They just attack me. They're just like, hey, you want some free loot? I was like, yeah. Sure. Morale with working with injury. Wow, I don't know. The Royal Deathfire Company. Do I not want to piss them off? Ah, I kind of like the fact that we have maybe some allies. Also, I don't want to piss off Maya. But this is actually a guy that's named. Right? We need to kill this person. What? We don't even have a choice. We're in, in a fight. Right away. Is he some kind of pirate?
I wonder if the... Uh, our reputation will go down, because... How do they know that I did it? I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't do it. Like, I was not even close. Hmm. Okay. Uh, this is actually a very... And I'm just seeing that this this actually leads to problems. I should not have my guys line up like this. I should have the tanks at, at, at uh, in the front because because like this we need to always rearrange them. All right, fair enough. Let me just intimidate them. They're terrified. Oh, I can only hit two of them. It's okay. What are you doing? Jump across? I didn't tell you to do that. You killed Chornu. Ruatai and Charmer. Uh, screw that, actually. I just terrify them. Ooh, you wanna get killed by the... the freeze? Whatever you want. It's nice to have a party that uh, combines uh, characters that need to be micromanaged more. Uh, versus the, those that don't. Like, I kinda have a sweet um, balance right now and I suppose you can always pause the game more uh, but yeah this is fine so did our reputation go down no oh, they seem to like me just as much maybe it went down a little bit I don't know it didn't affect it much I should focus on, uh, wait a second, there's a Hurangi guy here that I might need to deal with. Another island. Can never resist. Yeah, I don't think the crew will be exceptionally excited about that loot. Ricardna's Observatory. Do we want to go here? What do we have here, though? Hmm. I'm not even sure. What? This mission is exactly about Poco Kohara. Maybe it's we don't have a mission for this. Unidentified location. We got Kuaro here, which is a uh, one of junk. A level ten. And we're just gonna fight them. Hey guys, pirates! I really need to set up my party properly. Formation. Okay. How about, do I want Watcher to be first? Not by the current party composition. You oh, sure? that's not what I want.
Something like that. Would it work? Not, not that. Yeah, that's that's it. That's exactly what we want. So this way we don't need to spend a lot of time always to rearrange the party. Damn. What? Where are my skills? What the hell is this? Yeah, terrified and weakened. You guys want to get murdered by a freezing pillar? I think there's a yes. That terrify skill is just stupidly good. What now? Oh, who want a warrior? Come over here. You only need to charm the guy. Come on, why did we charm him? That's it. B. Unlocked old salt. Whatever that is. Apparently those are some kind of modifiers that you can use to start a new game. That's all I know. The crew is still unhappy. Because they're injured. Hopefully gonna be, they're gonna be less injured now. Oh, hey, slavers captain, doesn't even care. Show me what you have to sell? Just a bunch of slaves, guy. Okay, obviously, we're gonna board them. Actually, I need to pay attention to the defenses and uh, the armor and whatnot. And I'm really happy with uh, the system Pillars of Eternity has. Very happy. It's very complex. Okay, look at that. That's a beauty. Okay, that's not a beautiful anymore. I'm gonna L out. I mean, uh, uh, there. Don't be a dumbass. Don't run in. Like that. Can we just terrify them? Terrified and weakened. Lost too much water. I'm not sure I can. Lost too much water. Take care who lost too much water. Always one guy. But that's it, they have nothing. Exceptional light armor. Who cares? But the crew is happy! They kill people! The crew loves that! Slavers, are I'm becoming the most... ...known... ...captain... ...of the Deadfire. Do we check out B Bikarna's observatory? Let's do it. Hasongo. That's kind of where we need to go. Ains of the Many Eyes. Estulario Parfitto. Ah, let's go there. Clearly a special place. Picardna's research. Yeah. 
Hey, what's going on here? What? Who are you fighting? You guys wanna uh, get terrified? Now, some of them have uh, pretty high build defense, but they all failed. I don't know about this. Maybe I'm gonna take it out of auto cast. I usually want to do more important things than that. Soti, you wanna die? I'm gonna stand in there. She's uh, almost dead. What? What are these people? Eoten Nimriko? Uh oh. That is dangerous. They have low reflex, mediocre will, high fortitude, and pathetic deflection. And they're immune to might, perception, de dexterity, affliction, but not to my mind. So I'm gonna uh, terrify them. Most likely. Uh oh. Can we just retarget that? Hey, come on. It didn't work. Double thumbs down. Uh, can you just do a. Uh... You can't. I do an evasive roll. Missed. She's a ranger. So. You shouldn't be on the front line. Hey, Oton! Yeah! Work for us! What are you doing? Now they're just being weird. You be owing me that trick, Blinded. Let's go. It lowers their accuracy, makes them take damage. It's reflex based. Oh, he's actually immune to those afflictions. Not the wizard, though. Yeah, Eoten, kill Eoten. Eoten, you wanna die? Boy, watch it. Oh boy, we slipped. Kill him. Watch it. Boy, watch it. Yeah, that's not particularly impressive. Exceptional. Okay. Misses converted to grazes. Exceptional spec scepter. Wait, I, I kind of missed that amulet. Some kind of amulet of greater health regen. No, greater health, just more health. Uh, which is nice, I guess. What oh, we have? Intellect, history, insight. Okay. That's kind of garbage. Let's use the health one. Do we all have gloves? Okay, you're gonna use that. However, it would be better to use with a character that has lower accuracy. For some reason, Seraphins seem to have lower accuracy. Actually, he's the most uh, uh, ideal candidate for that uh, glove. Because you're gonna mess with lower accuracy, obviously. So, what's going on here? War dog. Oh, meant to shoot it. Yeah, it's so dead. So, what can we find in this observatory? 
It's like with just a bunch of crappy books. Diorama of this island, most likely. Leave it to me. All right, to the old Ari. So, do we have more enemies over here? Sure. Come on, don't say sure. Hmm. I'm not sure how uh, much arcana you're gonna need to use all the scrolls. It makes the scrolls better and also. Uh, well, I guess uh, some scrolls have requirements. Most scrolls have uh, some requirements. We already have 10. So that should be good enough for conversation options and using scrolls. But I don't know if we need a second active ability. Active skill, I suppose. It actually comes up in conversation, so that's pretty useful. Hey! Fly up there and crack open one of those bronze eggs. Whoa, what the hell is going on here? The scout of figure clutches a scroll in both of his gnarled hands. His skin crinkles like old parchment with every movement pulls to the point of nearly tearing. He glances up, his eyes burning and, and severe in their intensity. Again you interrupt my plans and again I am forced to compensate. Console halt. He closes his fist around the scroll and shoves it away. One such offense was inexcusable. Your very presence, an abomination. You don't want to talk. I see we've already descended to petty jabs. Yeah, this that's very start. Be over soon. Whatever beginner's luck won you the day at Cragholt has expired. Fate brought us here to correct its error. I read your spells. They suck. If the circle sent you to interrupt my research, I'll fashion a scarecrow of your remains to deter their next hapless victim. Archimir sent me. I suppose we we are after the same thing. Oh yeah! I actually forgot that Archimir sent me. I, I, that was so long ago. This is what happens if you just do missions like, like, well, in a well, not really in order. Just, just. Whatever, just whatever you see, like, you don't even return the missions. What's your interest in this observatory? I'm looking for a fight, but I won't hesitate to defend... I'm not looking for a fight, but I won't hesitate to defend myself. I just had to correct the sentence that I'm looking for a fight. I'm going to mount your skull on the defiant as a figurehead. Ooh. How did you end, how did you end up in the death fire? I had planned on taking vengeance by leveling your castle. But that sea striding Ardra buffoon stole the opportunity out from under me. <laughs> oh. From there, it was the trivial work of clawing my way from my resting place to a dock. Then I arrived in the dead fire as any simpleton would, by boat. Why do you care about this observatory? That arcane upstart Bekana might not have been as unhinged as we once assumed. So? The Circle discounted her theories about a deep well of power in the dead fire. All that changed when I felt its pulse. So you're saying Burkana was better than you? He closes his fingers as if to capture something ephemeral from the air. Your presence tells me that the Circle has felt it too. You wouldn't be here if you found what you were seeking? <laughs> How astute. Now, if you're finished dissecting my academic setbacks, I am a rather busy lick. Grimacing, Consahalt raises his bony fingers and mutters an incantation under his breath. Oh, really? You want to fight? I thought we were just getting started with uh, insults and petty jabs. <laughs> Alephan. 
Seagull of Atrophy. Can't get a clean hit. Okay, the tentacles will help me. Let's try to terrify them. It takes them out for a long time. Mm, this is not so bad. Those missiles are decent. No, that's not what I wanted, actually. I wanted the uh, freezing pillar. Well, they're gonna die. Can we just blind these uh, guys in the front? He's on his ass. What are you doing? Go well, save your fellow teammate. What? Why are you on your ass? Oh. Do it. We just gotta take out the henchman first. Then we gotta take out Console Hold. He can't really run away. Not sure about trying to charm that guy, After him. especially because he di he died instantly now. Maybe I'm gonna make uh I'm gonna tweak the AI. Yeah, I think I can do that to make it less bad. Consult is just hiding like big puss he is. Wait, what? Are we out of heals? Or are we not healing? I hope nobody saw that. Watchful presence. I'm not a huge fan of this spell. When we reach near death. Never you mind that miss. I'll land the next one. Oh wait, Seraphim is just dead. I don't know about the watchful presence. Because it seems like when you go below near death, uh, it heals you up. But if you actually get instantly killed, uh, well, you take more than, well, enough damage to not end up in near death but actually die. Then it just doesn't trigger, so it's complete garbage. Let's go. This thing isn't doing the job. Is there anything we can really do here? Give her more points. Give. He doesn't really need more points. Why uh, use just regular attacks? Oh, actually, he's out of points. Damn, I put some good EI for these guys. What about these? We're kind of out of uh, skills that would be useful here. That checks against fortitude. We will need something that checks against Reflex. Like the pillar, right? Yeah, let's just throw a pillar in his back. Maybe... Does this check against Reflex? It actually checks versus Will, so it is never gonna land on him. But this could be annoying. Also, how I have to say, you're not completely garbage. Uh, can we heal uh, Resurrect Seraphim? We should be able to, though. Okay, let's put down uh, some chili fog. That's gonna probably. 
He checks against Fortitude, but probably still gonna blind them. How long are you terrified? Past 10 more seconds. Come sell out. You really don't wanna die. Damn. Can we just rotate around? Blank, Conceal Holt. So help me. He's clearly flying, right? I don't know, he has so many uh things going on. It's hard to tell. It'd be nice to get back Maya. She's still scared. She's expressing it very weirdly. I need something stronger. See him. Just after us. Kill Kunsaho. We need to. Damn, he's so sturdy. No penetration. Yeah, let's use the one time usability. Iconic projection. Also, Holt, how about you die? Oh, the tentacles. They are actually annoying. Let's do another iconic projection. Well, I can't really fear him. Uh, this is actually checks versus fortitude. What he did again, so that's basically garbage. That's not gonna land against him. Deflection and reflex are his weakest saves. Put it like down right there. 13% chance to hit him. So that's terrible. What kind of chance does he set? Does this have? Seems like it doesn't even work because he has. Some magic immunity going on. Heart and reflection. I might even need to do a heal. With a scroll. Might as well be hitting the water. You you're trying to charm console holds? Hmm. I don't wanna. We might need to check, tweak your AI right now. Don't be a dumbass. What are you doing? So don't do this if they are the target has resistance to mind afflictions. How about that? Can we make that a tank? Uh, let's just say that the target is not below 75 and uh, hmm. I think we can check for some certain afflictions but I'm not sure if uh, like this is uh, actually just a tweak uh, tweak the basic one so they didn't think of uh, adding whether the target is immune to mind affliction. I don't know if you can even check for that. Because obviously, uh, you don't want to go for uh, the, the charm if you know it, it's always gonna miss. Anyway, let's just not waste time here. I'll, I'll check it out by myself. No, oh, if target has no affliction then you do it and it's also uh maybe not hurt or maybe even like we can go with like 90 percent not self okay let's whatever target is not below 75 percent so if it's over 75 percent we, we can charm it right, let's go okay 
Why are you trying to charm it? Not below. It clearly, it doesn't. Maybe it just uh, started right now. I don't think you should be doing it anymore. All right, Council Halt, your spell suck. Super robe, super plus armor rating, pretty nice. Wow, we need Arcana 14 for that, so. Uh, Grant's pet, heart divide effect, visage of console halt, which is once per rest, summon a ghostly visage of console halt. I don't care. Oh. A special grimoire. Does it have anything new in it? Constant health draining missiles. Were you saving these special spells? Raw damage missiles. Huh. That's interesting. Raw damage just checks against fortitude. Okay. Your cursive siphon sucks. Draining touch. Dimensional shift. Seems like that's the... No, no, no. There's one new here. I don't know if this is a new one because I don't really see those spells yet. A truly unique spell. Concept holds uh, crushing doom summons an enormous magical hammer rip that repeatedly slams down into its target, doing crush damage and knocking them prone. That's illusion. The hammer strikes repeatedly, becoming larger, more accurate, and more damaging each time. So, how long it lasts? For 15 seconds. Okay, that's interesting. We can use it, we can just put it in. Uh, so do we put in the the special grimoire now? Wow, isn't this? Hm? Yeah, but we have the draining missiles. I suppose we can use that. Hey, you wanna beat the Text, uh, test dummy for that? I don't think so. Yeah, we can't see the other spell. Basically, Got just it. a special missile. Pre-con belt. That's always good. Super light armor. Uh, pretty good. Exceptional heavy armor. Super light armor is... Well, it's, it's better if you don't want to deal with the recovery time, I guess. Ah, uh, Sigil of Death. Oh, it's immune. Whoa, it, it gives us... Don't, 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 don't. We actually took uh, injuries for that. Fine? It's not fine. So what's up with this telescope? Look through the telescope. The ocean of stars stretches out before you. The night sky is no stranger, but you seldom see it with such intimacy. Does this spell overtake you? The stars blur out of their normal positions. When your focus returns, each of the celestial, uh, celestial bodies cracks open. One by one, their light uh, bleeding together. The stars converge to form a series of winking eyes. Greetings, Paul! Uh, the words spell themselves out in the stars beneath the winking eyes. The crescent moon slowly widens and rotates into a grin. Val? Why are you looking around? Try not to think too hard about what's up here. Some secrets are worth keeping. The largest of the eyes winks. You blink and the night sky reasserts its normal configuration. You're feeling alright? Talking to some dead people in there? Just the sky. You've seen creepier, right? It's immune to slash and pierce. But it's apparently not immune to maybe getting the the hell getting blown the hell up. Oh, two injuries. Let's rest. We need to rest and get the hell out of this place. Konsehaut, what a bastard. Uh, 
Uh, we need to leave this place. Wait, maybe... Leave it to me. Maybe check that one out, though. First. Sure. The control mechanism of this aura is tar tarnished. Though recently oiled, some of the levers show signs of meddling. Uh, plague uh, to the side bears the mark of a uh, hand swiping the brush away dust. <sighs> Examine the controls more closely. The levers adjust a series of number dials which correspond to the altitude and an azimuth of the celestial bodies. Manipulate the controls, read the plaque. Picard now. If you're reading this, you're forgotten again. You blasted your mind to bits trying to describe Bacardna's clarity of thought. I'm sorry. Never doubt yourself. Your years of research were well spent. Even if no one called you Archmage at the end of them. Even if they laughed. I know you remember the legend of the your favorite Juana constellation, the Huntress. When you need a lot of confidence, set the coordinates of the Huntress and the three stages of her tail into this orrery. You can do more with half a brain than most competent wizards, so get back to work. Love Bikarna. <laughs> he brought him a letter. Himself. Should we manipulate the controls? You pull on the levers and enter random numbers into the coordinates. When nothing happens, gear spin in the machine and reset the numbers to zero. What of the mechanism is it meant to do? It will only work with the right set of coordinates. That we do not know. Do we know? Do we have some kind of paper? Like, this is how you do it, guides? Did, did I find a, a book that says like, hey, this is how you do it. Hmm. Like anything that has duplicates probably is, is not what we are looking for. Seems like we did not find it. We don't currently possess uh, whatever we possibly need to operate this ornery. Probably we're gonna be sent back to operate it ourselves a little bit later. Never mind that. It's night, and uh, I suppose this was a long day. So, I just head out and sail away. We can go back to Archimir and tell him that, hey, we dealt with the problem. But, no, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna sail to the northwest and uh, explore a little bit more. But this is a good time to take a break, so thanks for watching guys, and see you next time.